Hey guys, Frostblim here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans, uh, Clash Royale video, not Clash of Clans. Um, either way, as you can see, we are covering a clan battles, um, you know, video, and we are doing a specific, uh, kind of deck composition this video. Uh, me and Robo2000B have made it up here. It's a very insane strategy where you basically just get a bunch of barbarians, try to get as many on the screen as possible, and just try to decimate your opponent's towers with it. It's really fun, and um, the reason why most YouTubers haven't tried this kind of thing before is because, you know, it's not where you can, like, get a world record thing, because your opponent's not working with you and trying to keep them alive while slowing them down. Your opponent is trying to kill them and basically destroy you. So, uh, either way, but when you can work with your teammate, you can actually get quite a few troops on the screen, uh, as long as you have an elixir advantage, and it works out really well. Uh, either way, that should do it for the explaining. Let's just get straight into these replays. Getting into this first replay here, you can see it's Old Row and Jewitter 21, however you would pronounce that, versus the two of us. Uh, you can see, starting hand here, I have the heal, Barbarians, um, Ice Wizard, and Mirror, and uh, he's got some uh, more some passive buildings, the Rage, the, uh, well, Princess, but he deployed that log and elixir pump. The only issue with not having, you know, Skype or some kind of voice chat thing is we keep on, uh, you know, um, countering the same push, which is really bad because it puts it at us at an elixir disadvantage. Yeah, OJ would be mad at us for that, but that's okay. Orange Juice is not here right now, so that's okay. Um, either way, I should stop ranting about other YouTube channels, and the point is, is that, you know, we probably should get some kind of voice communication, but, you know, we're kind of stubborn and not doing it. So, they're going on a Hog Rider push, but I lure it out with the Tombstone, and they send in a Goblin Barrel, but it gets annihilated. There's nothing they could have done to get that Goblin Barrel to help them. As you can see, we got quite a few Barbarians at this point. I try to heal them, but it really doesn't end up working out, and uh, we are back to the drawing board. Once they counter our push, we get a little bit of damage in, but not really much of anything. One Barbarian Swipe cannot be called a solid push. <laughs> Either way... Princess goes down, which is really nice. Um, as you can see, Barbarian Hut is about to go down, and uh, they are sending in the Goblin Gang, but it will not do much to us. One of the Goblins will get a shot off on our Princess, kind of annoying, but at the same time, you know, it's not like it'll ruin the whole raid. So, as you can see, um, I'm just sitting here at full elixir, so I place the Elite Barbarians. Again, we use the Barbarians and Skeletons, counter the same push, kind of bad since they're just going to log the whole thing and it just won't go well, but here is where it gets insane. I play four Barbarians, he plays four Barbarians, he clones to get eight more Barbarians, I clone again to get a, I don't know how many, but a bunch more. Didn't clip all of them with the second clone, but it doesn't matter. We get a ton of Barbarians, they don't stand a chance, and that's three crowns for us. I should be uh, telling you the amount of Barbarians that were on the screen at the max amount when I edit the video, but I do not currently know at the time, so yeah, bad on my part, but that's okay. Either way, that was a really crazy battle. Let's get into the next one, which might even be more crazy. As you can see here, we are now facing off on Boba and Jake the Snake, like that name there. Um, as you can see... I throw a good luck, or someone does, I forgot who, and at the exact same time, they throw a thumbs up. Don't know why they had the cry face. Cry face was not really optimal. Um, but either way, as you can see, I'm gonna place the bar, but he's gonna place the elixir pump, and we are off in the running. So, as you can see, they have the executioner and the um, wizard. I really find the executioner a really strong card. As you can see, they have the three musketeers here. And it gets pretty crazy here, but I do log them, and that makes it everything's at low health. So I swapped in the Barbarian Hut because I didn't like the Elite Barbarians in the deck. And I also put in the Valkyrie for, I think, the Tombstone, but I honestly don't know. So, not quite sure if that Rage was super good, but, you know, it ended up working out. He might have just been sitting at full elixir and wasn't knowing what to do. So... At this point in time, we're just resetting. The only annoying part is that we have separate Barbarian Huts. But as you can see, two Barbarians from the Barbarian Hut, four from my placement, four from his placement. I heal them, he clones them, takes out the tower, I clone it again. This is probably more Barbarians than the first time, just considering the Barbarian Hut was there. As you can see, so many Barbarians, more than last time. The Executioner took out quite a few of them, but I will be going off of what was the max amount at any point in time during the battle. 
So that's all that matters. Two really crazy uh, attacks. I definitely uh, would suggest you guys to trying this strategy. It's really fun. I really enjoy the kind of strategies where you, um, you know, try to get a bunch of the same troop on the screen and just see how many you can do. Not just in, you know, in friendly battles, but I like how you do it in clan battles because it makes it, first of all, your opponent's not helping you. And second of all, you can, like, help, you know, your teammate and you can work together in the factor where you both deploy. So really like that factor. You would want to do it with troops that have, like, lots of themselves. So, like, you know, Barbarians, Three Musketeers, um, Minion Horde, although they're pretty fragile, so I don't know. Unless you want to do some kind of, like, crazy P.E.K.K.A. or Inferno Dragon thing, you know, it's 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 fun to see a bunch of small units on the screen at once. It's just kind of fun to see that. But as you can see, that'll pretty much do it for this episode. I really liked, um, you know, using the Barbarians just because there's a lot of them, but they don't have, like, no health. So, shout out to Robo2000B because... We were trying to do, um, you know, some crazy battles, and he suggested, you know what, let's try to do a bunch of uh, barbarians. And we did it, and it worked out really well. But either way, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed while watching some crazy barbarians 